come to this video. Dear children, you read about division in previous classes. So today, in this video, let's see how division is related to Euclid's division lemma. We have 59 chocolates and 3 boxes. We have to keep equal number of chocolates in all the 3 boxes. Can you keep an equal number of chocolates in these boxes? Well done! We saw that 19 chocolates are kept in each box. Whereas, two chocolates remain. Just think, now can you solve it with simple division method? Absolutely right! On solving, we get quotient equals to 19 and remainder 2 where 3 is divisor and 59 is dividend. Now if you want to keep the same chocolates in 5 boxes instead of 3 such that there are equal number of chocolates in each box, then what will you do? Well done! Now we have 11 chocolates in each box, while 4 chocolates still remain, which we represent in this way. Similarly, if the number of boxes is increased to 7, We see that each box contains 8 chocolates, while 3 chocolates remain, which we represent like this. In the above 3 situations, we saw that both dividend and divisor are positive integers. Where on dividing the dividend 59 by divisor 3, 5, 7, we got 2, 4, and 3 respectively. On observing carefully, we get to know that in all the 3 situations, the remainder is less than the divisor. Where we represent dividend by A, divisor by B, quotient by Q and remainder by R. In the above situations, two positive integers A and B are seen where A is greater than B. And there exists unique integers Q and R. On division, we get remainder R which is greater than or equal to 0 and less than B. From which we can say that A is equal to B times Q plus R. This is known as Euclid's division lemma. Today in this video, we studied the Euclid's division lemma. In the next video, we will learn to find the HCF using this.